Hi, I'm Coach Colin Castello with Shot Mechanics Basketball, and today you're going to learn how to do Kevin Durant's vicious high rip step back move. Look at that shooting stroke. Nice. KD. That's what you call shaking off your defender. All right, so Kevin Durant is a monster out of the mid post or post, and this kind of high rip step back move is one of his go to's that he can absolutely devastate defenders with. So it all starts as you catch the ball somewhere in this area, right? You can do this move down on the block if you want to, but KD uses it a lot kind of around the 15, 12 foot area. So a lot of times it starts when you catch with your back to the basket. Now, in all, you know, in a perfect world, it's best to catch with both feet in the air. That way you could pivot either direction if you wanted to, right? So you start with two feet in the air, boom, just like this. Now from here, you're gonna open up with a reverse pivot, meaning you're gonna stick on one foot. This time I'm gonna stick on my left foot and you're gonna reverse pivot following your behind around, just like this. So a front pivot, you're following your front around, reverse pivot, following your behind around. This is great because your leg automatically starts to create space. You can imagine if there's a defender behind me, as I start to reverse pivot, as this leg comes through, the defender already has to start to give me a little bit of space, right? Even if they're right up on me tight. So that's step one, start a reverse pivot. Now at the same time as you reverse pivot, you're gonna hold the ball right about here at your chest and you're going to keep it nice and tight and rip it through. So we're going a high rip through. Normally you're probably used to a really low rip through. This time we're trying to go high because we're trying to get their momentum moving in that direction. All right, so you come through, high rip through to about your chest level. And then from here, it's a simultaneous stab of your foot towards the baseline and a ball fake on the opposite side of your body. So as you come through, you're gonna stab your foot and ball fake up by your chest at the same time. This motion right here makes it look like I'm getting ready to put a dribble down. So your defender should slide out of the way, right? So as you catch two feet in the air, Reverse pivot, boom, jab, rip the ball across your body, try to break that center line. And then from here, once the defender's shifting, it's really easy. All you have to do is come back, boom, drop it back dribble, and then plant off your closest foot to the basket to get that big time separation. From here, it's kind of up to you what you want to do, and it depends on how the defender plays you. A lot of times, Kitty will come through, hit the step back for a jumper, then once they read it a couple times, maybe he comes back through, hits him the next time, steps back, hezzies, goes under his leg, attacks the basket, gets to the rack. You wanna work on multiple options on this if you possibly can. But the key, two feet off the, or two feet on the catch, high rip through, boom, shake that core, get him moving the whole way, and then drop, step back, get that range, right? A big key on the step back though, is to stay loaded out of it. What you see a lot of players do is they'll hit the move, it's great, but then as they step back, they plant their heels into the ground and their hips stay really high. If you do this, you don't get very good pop into your shot. So as you come through, think about rocking them, stepping back, and then on that step back, I'm loading my hips as I'm coming back. That ready, I'm ready to fire into the shot, I'm getting a better pop and range out of it. So if you can do that, you're gonna have a really easy move and get a great look every time. All right, so if this video helped you out, go ahead and hit that like button and then head to the comment section down below and let me know what sort of video you wanna see next. We're a channel for the people, by the people, and I run pretty much everything off a request, so leave it down below and hopefully I get to it. And if you're new to Shot Mechanics, you're gonna wanna do two things. Number one, click that subscription button down below because we put out videos every week and they're all gonna get you better, I guarantee it. The second thing you're gonna wanna do is click the link in the description and get a free copy of my number one scoring workout. This is a scoring workout that's probably gonna increase your scoring average the very first time you use it because it's a whole different way to train, so I highly recommend you check that out. All right, again, I'm Coach Colin Castell with Shot Mechanics Basketball. Thanks for watching, and until next time, flash on.